Uh, I'm Todd Hudson. This is my brother Steve. Uh, we own Hudson's Hamburgers, downtown Coeur d'Alene. Uh, we are lifetime residents of Coeur d'Alene. And as far as I go, this is home. This is why I'm raising my children here. It still has a small town feel. People are great. And even though it's changed over the years, it still has a great feel to it. And that's what I like. Me too. <laughs> Well, most of the people, are, what's great about them is they're down to earth. They're, they're, you, you wouldn't know if they're a millionaire or, or down to their last five bucks. And, and uh, those are the people I really appreciate. Uh, rarely does anybody come in with, with attitude or anything like that. And I, I think it's just, I don't know, kind of reminiscent of, of the entire town. And that's, that's why it's so nice to be here, because the people are great. I agree. I remember riding my bike down as soon as school got out to City Beach and they had the docks down there at the time okay. with the I dock and the L dock and the island dock and it was probably 1968, 67, 69 and I was taking swimming lessons. First of June, water's freezing. It was so cold. But, but once we, we got to be good enough swimmers, mom let us go to the lake by ourselves and swim at the docks. And, just incredible. But aluminum boat, not the lake. And we would go and collect aluminum cans every weekend down through the dike and uh, bottles and get and, and take them to recycling for I don't even know how much we made. <laughs> but we had a five gallon gas tank that our parents said if we fill it, we can go anywhere. It's, but they're not helping. So we would do all that just to put gas in our little eight foot boat with a six horsepower Johnson motor on it and we covered this entire lake throughout summers. And it was just, it was one of the fun things that we did do together. It was a lot of fun. Before we started working. Before we started working together, yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> was terrible when I started. <laughs>a mouthful of teeth with a lot of bad teeth in it, you know, missing teeth. And it's a little store here, empty store here, empty store, store. It just wasn't vibrant like it is now. And you know, the malls. The malls, the malls. came in. And, you know, Sears was downtown, Woolworths was downtown, Penny's was downtown. I mean, everything. Montgomery Wards was downtown. And when the malls came, you know, they left. So that left, you know, big spaces to be filled and they just Film. And not to mention the office, the professionals, the doctors were downtown, the, the lawyers were downtown. As soon as they put in the medical centers and everything, everything moved away from downtown and left a lot of places that are hard to fill, you know, second, third stories people wouldn't walk up to unless, you know, they never needed people to go into them. It just, uh, you know, it just changed a lot. And how it came back, I think, has a lot to do with uh, who's been, you know, in charge, who's been doing what with the. Uh, Vision of the city. And the hotel helped. The hotel helped a lot. I mean, Mr. Hagenon has done quite a thing, amazing job with what he's wanted to do. His, his vision is amazing.